the same as Belshazzar and the handwriting on the wall, saith the Lord. All of you people who take, all of you people who take excerpts from this broadcast, you better pray as to what you say from it and what you take from it. It is the fools that will fall. Remember this. And take heed, all of you that take these segments out of these broadcasts like the 11th hour. You take heed to what parts you take out. And you better not be doing it for your own self-exaltation. You put it out to help the people. If you're going to try to snag something because you're doing it without permission anyway, but you stand up there and start putting it out, you better hope it's not to line your pockets with it. Because this is the night of Nabal's feasting. This is the time of his feasting. Well, eat up. Slurp it down, Nabal. need to remember what I said, all of you that's going to snag segments out of this broadcast. You better pray. I don't know. What do you guys think? Does that uh, does that remotely intimidate you a little bit here? Are you a little bit scared? No, I'm not. I find it, well, I'll put it like this. I find it sadly amusing. That's right. Sadly amusing. Because Robin Bullock is a confirmed false prophet. And uh, I just find it so ironic that even though his track record is zero, he still finds it necessary to come out and uh, try to intimidate those who would take clips. And by the way, I'm going to play a clip in just a second. So we're going to we're going to defy Robin's threats here. But it, it's just ironic because this guy has no credibility to even make these threats in the first place. But narcissism is a is a special kind of gift because, uh, you know, in his mind, making these uh, little threats, uh, almost alluding to the fact that God is his own personal weapon and you just better pray uh, or I'm going to sick God on you. That's basically what he's saying. And he's made these types of statements over and over and over and over again. But there's a, a huge credibility uh, issue here. And so, uh, though he tries to intimidate, it falls flat, just like all of his alleged prophecies. Robin wants you to think that the body of Christ today would just be lost, lost without the YouTube prophets. We would just be lost. And we're to be thankful that, uh, in, in his mind, that God sent him just to guide us through, because, you know, the Word of God is just not enough. It's not enough. We need Robin Bullock. So you better watch out. You better not uh, pull out any excerpts from his, uh, his videos, because you might be in trouble. But, all right, so let's, you know, let's do that. <laughs> let's go ahead and do that anyway, should we? All right, so let's play this next clip. Listen very closely and we'll comment. Yeah, well, you know, today is, it's been a special day. It's been a day of the prophetic. And, um, you know, I'm like Elisha. The anointing that is on me as a prophet is similar to the anointing on Elisha. And I never told anybody that, you know. Uh, the Lord had told me that. and, and to You know, when I heard this, I thought of, you know, mocking him, saying something funny, but it's 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 gone too far here. This man is destroying lives. His level of egotistical, self-centered, pompous narcissism, it soars into the stratosphere of those who clearly seek glory for themselves. As he testifies of how glorious he is, it doesn't even occur to him to look back at his extensive history of confirmed false prophecies, which have 
contributed to the shipwrecking of tens of thousands of people's faith who may have otherwise been solid in Christ were it not for coming across this guy. Because he stands on stage reveling in his own love affair with himself. He has zero capacity to understand that to the seasoned follower of Christ, he is at best an example of one who may have been hit in the head by a falling bag of hammers, whereas then you, you may take pity on this grown man. But that's not the case. He truly thinks he's as great as any of our beloved Old Testament prophets. And here he's, a, I'm, I'm just like Elijah. Well, Mr. Bullock, you're not. You, in fact, you're the exact opposite of Elijah. Elijah was a true prophet of God who never missed one prophecy. At best, you're the very person Elijah would have prophesied against. More to the truth of the matter, knowing the overflowing levels of narcissism you possess, you, Robin Bullock, would have more than likely been standing on the side of Jezebel and Ahab as Elijah prophesied against you. See, they were narcissists too. And Elijah, like true followers of Christ, would have been disgusted with your false prophecies. He would have been disgusted with your blasphemy and your freak show. And he would have been disgusted by your entire ministry, which again, harms the body of Christ. You're no Elijah, Tombstone. You're the opposite. No amount of self-testifying and self-exaltation self is going to convince the Bible-believing follower of Jesus Christ. So do yourself a favor, buddy. Shut it down. Shut it all down and repent for the folly that you've wrought and the utter reproach that you've brought upon our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Come down off your narcissistic throne just for a moment. My goodness, brah. Have you not read 2 Timothy 3, 2? Men shall be lovers of their own selves, boasters, proud, blasphemers. This is lunacy. Leave the body of Christ alone. Stop deceiving people. Stop bragging and exalting yourself. You are no Elijah. What utter nonsense.